Hello everybody and welcome to Corel Painter Lite. This is part five in a series of videos about getting started with Corel Painter Lite. My name is Skip Allen and let's get to it. So we talked a bit about layers last time and a bit about, I think we talked some about the uh, uh, other some other things in the uh, workspace. Uh, this time I'd like to come back over to the toolbox, this uh, image, this item right here on the uh, left of the screen, and let's try some something different and something fun. Corel Painter Lite has a mirror painting tool and a kaleidoscope tool. <laughs> And let's take a look at those. Let's first go to the Kaleidoscope tool. When you click on the on the uh, flyout menu, the little uh, triangle, remember that gives you a flyout menu, you can either click on uh, the Kaleidoscope tool or the mirror tool. And we've just clicked on the Kaleidoscope tool. Now, when you click on the kaleido Kaleidoscope tool, <laughs> you get a new uh, property bar up here. And the first thing that you want to look at is the segment number. Right now it's set up that we have three segments. Well, we can increase that to four, five, six, seven, eight. I think I'll go to eight. Yeah, ooh, that's, <laughs> that's a lot. That's kind of fun. We can actually change the rotation of these. Like, for instance, I can move this to rotate it so that it's not perfect or it you know a different kind of configuration along the edges happen you can actually move it uh, to one place or the other like that so I'm going to start up here in the kind of the top side and uh, the color here is the plain colors that's these the plain, the, the little lines are colored this green. So let's take it and make them a darker color there. That's a kind of a dark purple. Makes it a little easier to see. They're not going to be, you're not going to show those in the final piece. Okay, so now what happens? Well, we need to select a brush. So I'm going to go over here and I think I'm going to go to digital watercolor and I will grab new simple water. Okay. So how does this thing work? Be prepared. It's going to be so much fun. Oops. I just, I just hit the, uh, uh, the canvas without meaning to. Let me get rid of those. Okay. Now let's make the brush. We'll make the brush size a little smaller. Very small, actually. And here we go. We'll just start here and make a little circle and then zoom out. <laughs> zoom out, zoom out. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> I could do this all day. I just love playing with uh, these tools like this. Okay, let's switch to another color. We'll go to. <laughs> I don't know. We'll go to a nice blue of some sort, and we'll come back in here and start again. Look at that. Oh, I don't like that last wiggle. Isn't that beautiful? And what if I fill in? See, I can fill in and actually come over. <laughs> I could sit here and do this all day and we'd, we would waste all our time. So we're not going to do that. I'm going to delete the layer. And remember, if the layer is highlighted, I can come down to the icon that says delete layer and just delete it. Okay, now I'm going to come back to my kaleidoscope tool and I want to come up here and if I click on the reset mirror paint, oh, it says reset mirror painting, but it's kaleidoscope that we're on, and I click on that, that will get rid of my image. Now let's switch to uh, mirror image. <clears throat> okay, the same thing happens. The mirror image, you can rotate it, you can move it from side to side and so forth, and I'm just going to leave it right there. Now I'm going to grab uh, the real 2B pencil. Remember, we talked about recent brushes and it's up there. I want to get a color that's closer to black or is black. <clears throat> now anything I paint on this side is mirrored on the other side. 
and you can do some pretty interesting stuff with it. But what most people would do is probably something like this, where you would begin to draw a face. So you can get your proportions. Now, most of the time, you know, people wouldn't draw faces that are symmetrical. But um, th this drawing tool here isn't, uh, it's hard to draw a dog at the same time. <laughs> it isn't quite uh, perfectly symmetrical. It's, it's symmetrical enough that, you know, you, you don't see the differences that much, but it's not perfect. And uh, so you can just begin to, you know, identify stuff. <laughs> so we've got something like this established. And we'll establish. Eh, those are too high, lady. Or gentlemen, I don't know what you are. Don't want to have a bedroom eyebrow either. Okay, so that'll give us a beginning start. Now, at this point, I would I, I would probably go back to the mirror painting tool, and just like in the uh, kaleidoscope, you click on reset, and that will take it out. Now, what you do is you can go back in, and you can begin to, you know, draw stuff in here that's not going to be symmetrical anymore. You know, and just that little bit will make a big difference in the way this looks and the way it works. See, and you can go in here and begin to take uh, this drawing then to a new level, or a different level. <laughs> but anyway, you get to see the idea. You can begin to work like this. Now, again, if I do the drawing, I can paint, I can work on the same layer here, uh, or the canvas layer for this drawing. Or, uh, you know, I can add a layer. So if I, like if I add a layer at this point, and I begin using some other uh, tools, let's, uh, let's go in with this. We'll go into uh, the digital watercolor category. And actually, I'm going to go to New Simple Water. Okay, with New Simple Water, I'm going to make this brush a little bit larger. And let's pick a color. Uh, we'll go in here and get this just general um, flesh tone, just to give you an idea of how this can work. And then you can come in here and begin to put in your wash, just like that. Isn't that cool? Heavy pressure gives you the darker color, lighter pressure, with this brush tends to blend out to a kind of a lighter color. Ta -da! I stopped talking because I couldn't think at the same time. <laughs> but you can see how this, how, how you could begin to uh, develop a, a nice image here. And, and working with watercolor, uh, these digital watercolors are a pretty nice uh, entity. Let's grab this sort of um, green, just a little bright. We'll take it up and gray it down some and make it a lot lighter. And see, now I could come in with some of that green. i tell you what, I'm going to add another layer to it. Oops, took off all my 
uh, let's redo brush stroke. There we go. I'm going to add another layer and paint over the top, which will give me a little bit of transparency. This digital paint brush will uh, show transparency in the layer. Isn't that cool? So see, you could, uh, there you've used the mirror painting tool to get started with uh, an image. You're working a little bit with a simple, uh, new simple watercolor, getting an idea that watercolor can be done very well in Painter. And I think it's time to end this video at this time. And we'll do uh, another one. And I think the next one is going to be the last one because I'm going way beyond just showing you how to get started. <laughs> All righty. Take care. And I will talk to you in the next video. Bye-bye.